Anna Rose, take a second. Good advice. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose uh, it's very important for all of us just to step back um, and reflect on, on what has happened and I suppose make the right decision. I think it's always important, Jerome, I suppose, at any time, whether you're a player, official, whatever you are, just to take a second. And At the end of the day, referees are only human. It's not a deliberate mistake. If it's called a mistake, it's just a genuine mistake. We all, you know, everybody that's part of the LJFA, we all work extremely hard. Everybody is trying their best. And although at times, you know, you might, like I said, there might be frustrations, might run high and so on. But it is so important that we just pause and remember that there's somebody on the receiving end of whatever you might be saying. Um, just to, like the campaign says, just take a second, take a moment to compose yourself and just consider what you might be about to say. And maybe, um, yeah, just to settle yourself. And it's an important message for managers. Oh, oh, unbelievable, you know, like, and it, listen, as I said to you, we put so many hours and dedicate so, many time, uh, so much time into it and, you know, one split second can change the season and, you know, sometimes it overwhelms us. So, you know, it's important, I suppose, that, you know, at the end of the day, it is only a game of football and we have to respect everyone that's involved, officials, uh, down to people that open the gates, that people that uh, fill the water bottles, whatever it may be, you know, and that's, that's the most important thing. And how would you get on with the officials and referees down the years? What is the culture like, shall we say, in ladies' Gaelic football? Oh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's been going well. Um, I think it's, it's important, obviously, as they're in charge at the end of the day, that everyone plays fair and hope that they make the right decision on the day. And you've been a captain, a leader at college level and at county level as well, so you'd have dealings with referees, so you have reason to respect them, of course, but, I mean, they are so important and they're just human. Yeah, 100%. Look, we all, for the most part, referees have phenomenal games a lot of the time. And yes, of course, there's mistakes made. There's mistakes made by players on the pitch as well. Everybody, literally everybody will make some sort of mistake at some stage in, you know, during games or throughout their playing season. And it's just to, like I said, remember that there is somebody on the receiving end of, of anything that you're going to say. And how would you describe the way that you are treated and referees are treated generally within ladies Gaelic football is it a, a good culture at the minute shall we say? I find it very good Jerome I find that communication is a key a lot with the players I think obviously if you're talking to players on the field they understand why the decision sometimes the manager mightn't understand the decision but if you're talking to the players on the field and explaining what your decisions are for they seem to accept them and move on and, until the next play at the end of the day, they get out of the bed, they go to the game the very same as I do, they're there because they love the sport and you know we're all there for the same reason, so I think it's an issue. I think it's, it's it's very good in terms of, I suppose it'll open people's eyes to to, to the whole the whole thing. So we're talking about players on the field, but also people on the sideline, whether they're management or even people in the crowd. Yeah, I'm, and I suppose I suppose while while we're making decisions on the field, if we signal what our decisions are for, then hopefully they they understand why we're making those decisions and they'll think, oh, maybe she did take six steps and that's why he's blown the whistle instead of saying. Ah, for God's sake, ref, what the bloody hell was that for, you know? And it's also, is it also a matter then sometimes of people maybe not knowing the rules? Because there are subtle differences at times there with is. ladies' Gaelic football. Yes, I suppose a lot of differences I've even seen. I suppose the time that the men introduced the black card and they've been looking for black cards in, in ladies' games since, since that has come in. And that's, you still hear that week in, week out. But at the end of the day, you do try to communicate. And by communicating on the field, and if they're able to heat, hear you on the sideline by saying it's a yellow card for such a thing, there's no such thing as black cards, well then they might listen to that and talk going forward. I suppose people also don't realise how much work you put in, one, to get fit, but also to manage the games the way you do. It's like, I mean, you think Mother's Day is just gone. I didn't spend Mother's Day at home. Um, you have to have a good family and good relationships at home that she can understand all that. And listen, we won't be at it forever, but I really do enjoy the game. So I, while I'm at it, as long as I'm at it, I'm going to enjoy it and, and take all the opportunities that come. If everyone takes a second, maybe we would have more officials at games or maybe there'd be no shortage of referees in, in county and, and, and inter-county and stuff because it does get hard at times, it does get hard. And there's days you go home and you might throw the bag in the corner and say, that's it, I'm never doing it again. But the good days outnumber the, the bad days.